we have amazing kids. Really, really have amazing kids. And, you know, I, I'm always pushing STEM, I'm always pushing STEAM, I'm pushing robotics. I'm, always, I'm about, you know, futuristic thinking. We're very future ready. Science Fair gives students an opportunity to do independent research, something that allows individuality, allows the student to follow their passion, and very hopefully, it gets them hooked on science to continue through higher education and beyond. These students have been working on science projects that they are passionate about. Not only science studies, but they've also been developing this year engineering projects, meaning that they've had several trials and improved products over a course of months and prototypes. My name is Francisco Javier Vera Jr. I'm from West Saco East High School. My project is the electrostatic generator. What this is is a generator that works on water. This year I have added, I have been working on this project for five years already. This is my fifth year. Add the negative charge to this one, it will attract the positive ions that are on, in the water. As it does that, it will send the negative ions to the other side. And by doing this, as it touches the bottom water collector, it will complete your circuit. In the future, I kind of want to start a business with this. So this is, my plan is to create this into a regular generator that can you use in during storms or anything like that. My name is Alejandro Morales. This is Edgar De Hoyos. And this is Jose Chavez. This is a, the Amad Explosive Disposal. It is, it is to help the EODs, the Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The robotic hand mimics the natural movement of the human hand because the glove has flex sensors on each finger. We chose to do this project because, well, first of all, this is my passion. This is what I'm interested in. Basically, engineering is a lot of trial and error. We don't know when it's, when it's actually gonna work. So what we like the best, like the best part of everything is when, when, we, we, when it finally works and we're, we get all excited. Uh, kids here so far have been awesome. Uh, I've interviewed a few students, both middle school and high school students, and they've been fantastic. With all the technology that's available for students, uh, 21st century learners having uh, the tools at their disposable, technology that's available to them, they can research information readily available, devices that are, uh, uh, that are available to them. I just interviewed a student a few minutes ago where he's taking a, a robot uh, uh, computer, if you will, and he's taking that to the next level and, and building his own device based on technology that he's learned. But you know what, these kids, they're at that level. They're at that level that they're, they're, really, they're really following our vision of critical thinking, problem solving, you know, uh, collaboration, adaptability, and they're communicating to each other. They're communicating to me immediately. These kids are truly exemplifying that our 21st century learning vision that we have. Westco ISD actually has a special extracurricular science fair program known as the Gifted and Talented Independent Study Mentorship Program, which is free for any student in Westlake ISD to sign up for. There are Saturday research sessions with multiple teachers so that students get one-on-one -on -one attention, district support for research, connections with local higher education facilities, and generally, they get to follow a very strong, very personalized path to science research. What is very comforting to me is to see kids like this, okay, that they're keeping pace with that evolution of learning. You know, the, there's so much information out in the world and there's so many things that we need to, to be able to do to make sure that these kids are ready for the future, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years into the future. Well, it's, it's comforting to see that, you know what, they're getting there. They're getting there. They're, they're not only keeping pace with the evolution of learning, they're catching up to it. Okay, so it doesn't matter. These kids are on the forefront and they're pushing forward. We would just hope that we as educators can try to keep pace with them, to try to keep them and helping them so that they can continue to learn all the things that they need to to be successful in the future.